So on this video, I'm going to go over some of the mistakes that people make when they haul these campers or they go camping in these campers. These are the GeoPro E-Pro line. Most of this stuff is pretty standard. This is an FD model, but uh, it, it it's pretty standard. The same equipment is used throughout the uh, GeoPro and E-Pro lines. So uh, this is just some things that we found camping and that's things that mistakes that we've made and maybe we've heard of other people making them so just these are some mistakes to make sure that you you don't make these yourself and uh i'm not trying to say that everybody makes mistakes but i think you'll find that at least one or two of these mistakes you might have made over the years when you're camping with the geo pro one mistake almost Ge almost all geo pro owners make is these stairways and they're a really nice setup but what happens is we take these stairs and we fold them up and guess what happens it hits this door and almost everybody that has a GeoPro whether you want to admit it or not it's gonna have a scratch right here where you caught your screen door again you must make sure this door is all the way open as far as it'll go before this before this stairway comes up and coming out you can even do more damage you can actually bend the frame on that so make sure that door is all the way all the way open before you put your stairs up or down another mistake you might make with you have a geo pro or e pro is you go to turn on this vent hood and you wonder why it's not pulling the heat and the smoke out of here well you have to do something outside for this and it's something i didn't even know at first so we'll go out and show you what you have to do to to make that work now your vent on the outside if you notice there's two tabs right there you have to push those two tabs and open that flap if you don't do that then that ventilates no to nowhere it doesn't no air comes out of there at all so you have to open those two tabs and let that flap open otherwise you're not going to be venting to the outside so it's a pretty common mistake people with the uh this type type fan so just something to know about another mistake that a lot of people make on a geo pro or and this actually happens on a lot of other campers as well is when you go to shut your door make sure that this red is on red you have a tendency when you grab it for this handle you'll see how i'm grabbing for that handle and guess what's happening it's moving this across see that red's no longer there and what's happened is that dead boat has come out a little bit and so if you're slamming this door trying to get it shut a lot of times that's your issue you have to make sure that this red is all the way like red on red so make sure you do that if you don't you may bend that pin or you may be hard maybe and tear up the door frame trying to get it in here another mistake you might make is if you leave your towel your paper towel on here and you'll come in and this is what you'll be greeted with a pile of, pile of towels on the floor so that's a mistake it's done in a lot of campers you just want to take those towel racks loose or go ahead and take your towels off and store them in a cabinet same thing for your toilet paper i'm not going to show an example here now but your toilet paper sometimes it'll roll off and you'll it, it sometimes happens and sometimes it don't but it's best to go ahead and take those off before you hit the road otherwise you're going to have a pile and a mess to clean up another thing you might want to do is it can be a mistake done is as your campers moved in different places and it's not quite level or a lot of times this door a lot of times you slam it shut here see how it's kind of hard now there's one of two problems if that's doing that one is this dead boats come all the way out and the other one is it's just it's easier just to take this and turn it in close your door and let go make sure it's all the way closed so just something to remember that just slamming that door sometimes is hard to get shut so it's better just to lift up on this lever and close your door than do that i know it's hard to get kids to do that but that might be you have to do it that way whenever you can't quite get your your camper's got a little bit of a spring to it where your door's not quite shut all the way or your opening's not quite the right size one mistake that you might make when you uh are in a geo pro is uh or an e pro is you may come in and set your camp up hook your water hose up to your city water hookup and 
suddenly you start off with your fresh water here and uh, it shows it's darn near empty and all of a sudden you notice it's going up or actually it'll actually spill over if it fills completely up what you want to do then is check something in the bathroom what happens is your water miser here as you can see right here it's in the position it should be but if it's in this position right here it could be taking that water that you're putting in from the city water and it's going to fill that tank up so if you have this problem happen make sure you come in and check to make sure this lever is in the down position like that another mistake that you might make in a geo pro is by having these arms too long or too short it'll, it'll cause this the door to, to jam on you and what happens in this case is too, it's actually extended too far on this one side so what happens you'll see it actually hits on this side also what will happen here too is if this is sitting up too high it'll catch on the bottom of the door as well so be careful with that when you first get in your surfaces level when you get to your campsite make sure it's level make sure don't slam the door real hard but make sure it's clear it has a good clearance on each side so that's one mistake that's made i like these steps but you have to be very careful with that